Today's video topic is inverted nipples. Inverted nipples can be a cause for concern for many women and men as well. So here's everything you need to know about this condition. Inverted nipples is a condition where the nipples point inward instead of outward. This condition can occur in both men and women, but it is more common in women. There are two main types of inverted nipples, primary and secondary. Primary inverted nipples are those that have always been inverted since birth. Secondary inverted nipples are those that become inverted later in life. Causes of inverted nipples It is not uncommon for women to have inverted nipples. In fact, about 2 to 10% of all women have them. Inverted nipples can occur in one or both breasts. In most cases, inverted nipples are simply a matter of genetics. Some women are born with inverted nipples, and there is nothing that can be done to change this. Also, it can happen due to aging. As women age, the skin around the nipples can become thin and lose elasticity, which can cause the nipples to become inverted. However, there are a few instances where inverted nipples may be indicative of a more serious underlying condition. Breast cancer is one of the most serious conditions that can cause inverted nipples. If there is a cancer, it can also cause a lump under the breast. Inverted nipples can also be a sign of a bacterial infection such as mastitis. In this case, you may have other symptoms like tenderness, redness, and bloody discharge. In other cases, inverted nipples may be a result of scar tissue from a previous surgery. Grades of Inverted Nipples Inverted nipples are graded on a scale from 1 to 4. Grade 1 is when the nipple can be pulled out with a manual stimulation. Grade 2 is when the nipple can be pulled out with manual stimulation but doesn't stay out. Grade 3 is when the nipple can't be pulled out at all. And grade 4 is when the nipple is pulled in so far that it can't be seen. Treatment of Inverted Nipples Inverted nipples are not usually a cause for concern and don't require treatment most of the time. But some people prefer to treat it because they are concerned about breastfeeding or for cosmetic reasons. There are usually three treatment options. Number one, Hoffman's technique, which is a manual exercise that can be done at home with your hands to try and put pressure on the sides of the nipple to get it to point outward, but it may go in again after some time. Number two, suction devices, which are devices used to pull out the nipple and get it to point outward. Number three, surgery. Surgery is an option that many people go for. Keep in mind that it sometimes can hurt the ability to breastfeed. If the cause of your inverted nipple is scar tissue, the surgery can be done to remove the scar tissue. This will allow the nipple to protrude. Finally, if the cause is a tumor, the surgery will also be needed to remove the tumor. The treatment your doctor will recommend will always depend on the severity of the condition and your personal preferences. Will inverted nipples affect breastfeeding? Inverted nipples can make breastfeeding more difficult, but it's not impossible. If you have inverted nipples, you can try using a breast pump to stimulate the nipple and help it to protrude. You can also try using a nipple shield. If you're having trouble breastfeeding, talk to your doctor or a lactation consultant. They can help you figure out what's going on and how to make it work. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.